Well, it turned into a nice afternoon for us after the clouds that were around this morning and the cool temperatures. Temperatures didn't really get warm during the afternoon with the sunshine, but still, it's a pretty picture. That's from the Pepper Rick House down there in the distillery district. And you're looking at the setting sun. Got about another half hour of daylight to go. That is your look there. You see it? Boy, it looks good. Actually, I think 534, if I'm remembering correctly. We'll find out when we get to the forecast page, won't we? But anyway, the sky is clearing out. As we head to the latter part of the week, there's rain on Thursday. That precedes the cold that is coming in here on Friday. You're being forewarned on that. For the weekend, the game day looks brisk. The game night also looks brisk as well. Sunday ends up being kind of the honeydew day. It looks dry and it looks actually fairly mild before the real hammer falls for us next week, which is the eight day. Near record cold, and that may actually be a situation where there's so much cold air coming, kind of overwhelms the pattern and keeps any snow threats away, even though we're going to be really, really cold. 52 right now at the Bluegrass Airport after a high today that didn't make 53. Check in with the Mesonet. It's a little chillier to the north. You've got upper 40s in from I-64 and north. Owingsville's 48 will be there tomorrow for a Fork Bank Extra Credit Award. Winchester's also at 48. Cynthiana's 49. Everybody in Owingsville's going, oh, what school? Who's the teacher going to be? And well, we'll have that for you coming up. Uh, Stanford's at 50. You've got Somerset coming in at 51 as well. So the rain that was around this morning followed a cold front. We get you to 10 o'clock this morning. There was the rain again north of I-64. A couple hundredths of an inch was all it amounted to for the folks that did get rain and most of us didn't. We would go then through the night tonight and into today and you see that high pressure is built in. So here's the setup. What we've got is moisture pooling down here to the southwest. Heavy rain will be breaking out across the plains. That moist southerly flow though, what it's going to happen, it's going to begin to come our way. And as it does so on Thursday, heaviest rain looks to be in southern Kentucky, but it looks to be a pretty steady rain for most of us. And this is preceding the push of cold air that's coming. So the bubble high works away its way overhead tonight. As it does so, you are looking at wind shifting to the south tomorrow. That cold front has some oomph to it. And as it arrives, you're going to be looking at the rain chances perhaps as early as tomorrow evening, but more likely tomorrow night into early Thursday. That should be a good, steady soaking rain and you see the snow on the northern flank, so it's trying to make a push this way. We could see a couple of flakes at the very tail end of that Thursday evening. Then by Friday, that push of cold air comes in. That's one of a couple of lobes of cold air that will come around. So what we'll see is the big mother load of cold coming in for us early next week, and this is a discharge straight from the Arctic. And so the bottom line is records may fall. Clearing sky tonight, getting brisk. We're down to around 30. Your day tomorrow, you're looking at uh, no, a 60 degree high. Sunset tomorrow is 534, so today is probably 535, so 20 minutes of sunshine left. Increasing clouds and basically a normal day. Here's what we look at in the eighth day. Low 50s with rain on Thursday, upper 30s Friday, a dry but brisk game day, and then you see the cold coming in next week. With more LAX18 news after this.